Good lord, that is a lot of them. Man in the coat? Hello? Sensing trouble, a man in a coat has arrived. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Vault with our very questionable heroes. Today, we're being raided immediately by the order. But don't worry, because our good friend Thane is here, sensing trouble. I won't lie, Thane. I'm not really sure I trust your senses right now. Oh, look, he's immediately been killed. Bleeding out in 13 hours. You know what? We actually might be able to save him. Animals 15. Now, this is by far the largest raid we've ever fought. And raids half this size were annihilating us a while ago. And I don't think, really, we've got that many upgrades. Oh, God, it never ends. A band of thugs sent by the algorithm called from nearby. If we refuse to pay them the silver that we don't have, they will be angered. Well, guess what? They seem happy about you refusing their offer. <laughs> I don't know why, but as a YouTuber, being robbed by the algorithm seems very on brand. You call that an exciting raid. I call that every day of my human existence. I mean, I was going to send everybody in. But if the algorithm is going to raid us too, they might kill one another. It's a gamble. But so is putting our people uncovered by an entrance and hoping we can kill them grouped up faster than they can gun us individually. Huntsman is also glowing. Are you okay, Huntsman? Command and control. Oh, from the, from the backpack. <laughs> What the fuck? What? His brain just exploded. What? what? Oh, come on! <laughs> Blasted our brain? From where? How? Wow, imagine how horrible that is. They're hammering up the walls and then suddenly the guy stood immediately next to you's head explodes. Oh, poor sweet intel. <laughs> how appropriate. <laughs> Oh my god, it paid off. I am a genius. Can I put the cannon leave? No, 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 kill one another. Yes, yeah, that's fine. That's okay, one of them is gone. My god, it, it, you know what? If we come out of this with only losing one person, I will still be all right with that. I'm not so happy that his head immediately exploded, but it's, it, it's better than the alternative. Oh, the pirates suck. Wow, I don't think they killed a single one of the order. Oh, they, oh, they got one. One, two... And that was it. <laughs> Which one of you guys is our fastest runner? Probably, I'll probably shouldn't have started with Dr. Man, I will admit. Uh, moving, moving, moving. Let's do 140, 71, 81, 100. What base moving speed is our fastest runner out of all these superheroes? Horndog? Good luck. Wait, Horndog, go the other way, go the other way. We just need to crack a gate open. I need to buy us maybe a couple of minutes. Okay. There you go, there you go. Now, they should all start coming through this way. Another bonus to that is they'll all be divided quite significantly, too. We've got cover over here, which is nice. Granted, we're going to be kind of bunched up. There you go, there you go. Okay. Okay, you're telling me there's a chance. I don't think there is. 27. Okay, perfect timing, Dr. Man. I'm going to put him behind cover. He has, if things go really, really badly wrong, a weapon we can use. Let's go ahead and throw out that combat command as well. Keep him behind cover. Buff everybody up. Ah, command can't see to shoot them. You come down as well. Shit. Maybe we should carve out the vault mountain. A lot of people have been asking me to cut the vault out of the mountain so that it's it's visible. And we might have to do that if we're going to rely on it for cover like this. Okay, uh, Huntsman, let's fire off an electricity blast. Try and stun them in place there. Nice work. There we go. Well, their armor is so strong. We, we, just, can't, we just can't punch through it. Captain Radiator can, though. Uh, melee. Kill the lot. No, me well, maybe actually I'll take control. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is quite quite intense, isn't it? Captain Radiator is chasing him down, but doing a terrible job of it. Are they all bunched up? Good enough. Dr. Man? Dr. Man, bring the music. No, I need to go a little bit further. Oh, he's fucking stunned. Of course he would be stunned in the one block where we can't see them. Unbelievable. Come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, orbital beam targeter. And, and about there, I'd say. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Die. No, oh, that wasn't an orbital beam targeter. Shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought he was going to drop a laser on us. That was a fucking airstrike. Okay, okay, okay. It's still not over. They're still attacking, which is honestly kind of staggering. Uh, you calm major break risk. Hackerman shoots... This person, because they're still in the fight. Huntsman? Still haven't got electricity blast. Hellfire, how are you doing? Fine. Is anybody going to die? That's probably the main question. Hornlock's not doing well. Radiator is down, but not out. Fisto is 23 hours. Oh, God, Dr. Man's dead in three. 
Okay, Khan made your break risk. Nice. Berserk. Timmy. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now what do we do? Should we fall back? I feel like we fall back. Okay, yeah, let's do let's do exactly that. That seems like a great idea. Uh, draft up. Uh, let's go. Why is the bolt on fire though? Oh, did I accidentally blast through the ceiling? Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. So we hide here. Who is down? Just radiator outdoors, right? At least this way, everybody's indoors and maybe safe. Assuming we can get indoors, that's a whole other, a whole other issue. Fuck, that stun weapon is obscene. Hold it open. Give him a little bit of room. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go. Hellfire. How's Fisto doing? 23 hours. Fisto, you're fine. Walk it off. Walk it off, Fisto. The aurora is ending. Are they fleeing? Shit, I didn't even realize they were fleeing. We actually survived. Oh, not get indoors. Okay, Captain Radiator is okay. Fisto is actually fine. We need to tend to Dr. Man immediately. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, tend to Dr. Man. How are we looking? Horn dog's not looking so good, but you can self-tend. Maybe get indoors first before you get horribly shot. Okay, you self-tend. Captain Radiator is fine. Major break risk is fine. So let's put all the... Oh, the bio vac. You know what? Let it burn. Uh, major break risk, you go there. Huntsman's also fine, just a bit bruised. Hacker man needs tending. We have to set up a, a temporary triage, I think. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. My bloody power grid. Or oh, they did way more damage. I'm not even sure how that happened. Because this is all mountain roof, right? Oh, you're kidding me. There was a single fucking square of non-mountain roof. No. It, no, legit though, it is. No, come on. And then one of the shots from the orbital targeter managed to hit that square and that started chain reaction. I don't know how the hell that thing caught fire. That's completely lost on me. Oh, Timmy, don't do it. Come on, Timmy. Uh, a huntsman? We can we can fire at the floor, right? Bounce, bounce a shot around the corner. Fuck, fuck. Piss off, Timmy. It stuns everybody. I can't believe it stuns our people, too. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, just light him on fire. Please, I can't get through your armor. Just piss off, Timmy. I didn't, it didn't affect him. He's going to kill Dr. Man and I can't stop him. Yes. Bring him down. Huntsman, Huntsman, Huntsman. Honestly, just, just take him out. Just take him out. Please. Oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, this is unbelievable. Hackerman, get in there. Yeah, kick him to death. Kick the guy to death. <laughs> Look at the fire. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Dr. Man. Oh my God, her armor's broken. That sucks. Uh, Dr. Man needs tending again. Those guys can deal with him. Or maybe he will just solo the rest of the base. This is actually... There. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. This is a worst case scenario. Pierce, I accidentally clicked capture on Hellfire. This is just horrible. This is actually just fucking horrible. We need to get him out of here because this fire is going to spread so bloody fast that we're going to die. Uh, how long has Dr. Man got? Two hours. Okay, get him out of there. Carry him home. Carry him home. Major break risk. Capture her. You've already started. We might as well finish. Go, go, get out of there. Oh, I mean, that hurts to look at. That really does hurt to look at. You rescue Captain Radiator. Top priority is Dr. Man. I'm sure it'll be safe here to triage very, very quickly. Horndog, can you get down here and tend to him? Because Captain Radiator is just bruised, right? He's at no risk of burning to death there. Oh, we've lost our map too. And we're trapped inside the fucking base. The Super Nanites. Oh, shit. And good as new. There we are. No, stop fucking. I swear they've moved where that button is. I mean, it's not a big deal. You've just got to press the release button. It's just a little annoying that now I have to do the roll ceremony again. It's a coup. <laughs> Get them out of here. Release them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a fantastic start. The base is burned down. Wow, like the whole fucking bottom section of the base really did burn down, huh? All of those new bioscopes is gone. Superchargers are gone. All of our power grid is, is just destroyed. Wow, that is... That's a real kick in the teeth. Let's go ahead and pull the doors off so it just counts as outdoors. A horn dog. A horn dog's gonna die. Picking out all food. She's walked into a 300 degree C room. The question is now, can Huntsman pull the door off the base before horn dog barbecues? Then <laughs> she'll go from being a horn dog to a hot dog. <laughs> we're gonna die. We're, we're gonna lose this game. Oh, Psychic Soothe. That makes you feel a lot better. Thanks. There you go. It's only 21C, so the temperature in that room should drop pretty fast. I don't think we'll have to worry about horn dog getting roasted. How you doing? 
Not well. Not well, but it could be a lot worse. Fista started a social fight with Dr. Man. Uh, Fista can't walk. And uh, neither can Dr. Man. Captain Radiator's got an infection in his right arm. <laughs> wow, I uh, don't really know where to begin with rebuilding then. I, I guess we'll cancel the luxuries. We don't need the radio terminal. Although the radio terminal is good because you can attune it to uh, essentially be a long-range scanner. I think we've got bigger things to worry about right now. The comms console is actually quite useful, so I suppose we will keep that. We might as well get rid of you. Uh, the electric smelter will actually allow us to get more iron, so building that will be a sensible long-term investment, I think. We didn't finish nuclear power, did we? Oh, that's such a shame. We queued it up and never got it finished. Uh, we do have advanced geothermal. Six advanced components. How many advanced components do we have in total? Because that will... 71 of the bloody things. Okay, we could definitely go for that. I have to be very careful about the order we go about things. So it's 300 steel for that and six advanced components. We've got in total 1,100 steel reclaimed. God knows how much we wasted. And a whole bunch of steel slag chunks. I think getting the smeltery online is the first thing just makes the most sense. If we can just get that and save the lathe so we can make other components, we're, we're, we're good. Oh, even the bath mat. <laughs> this world is unlovable. How much power did the ancient geothermal plant power? 6,800. Well, we're not going to get that much from the advanced geothermal generator, I assume. On the plus side, though, our medicine farm has been built at hope. Maybe it's come at the best time. A uh, healer believes in the Revengers. They're from Discordia. I'm so sorry, Habor. We can't. <sighs> but what would Dr. Man want? He'd want us to rescue them. Okay. No! Have they changed the order of those buttons? It's, it's like muscle memory. Well, I don't think they have. I think it's just maybe I'm so used to capturing people rather than rescuing them. <laughs> We've got one of the power lines connected back up from our other geothermal generator, but that's not going to be enough to power nearly, well, any parts of these bases. Let's turn off what we're not using right now, which is um definitely the entire lab. We've got a lot of sleep accelerators that I'm just going to have to take apart at this point. Educators don't use power. To be honest, without the lab turned on, we, we, we probably have, what, like a 100 watts usage? That thing is absolutely destroying our power grid. Okay, I mean, we need the fabrication bench. We don't need the mending machine. We don't need the drugs lab. We don't need the machining table right now. Oh, all of these burnt down. Those are just blueprints. Wow, they completely wiped out the entrance area. I suppose it frees up a room, huh? I liked keeping it for aesthetics. I don't think we can afford to keep aesthetics around anymore. How's this for an idea then? We knock through, it'll take a while because they're vault walls. We knock through all of this. We turn this into one big manufacturing room. In fact, maybe we put the stockpile in here. That will make a lot of sense. We put in the stockpile into here. This is one big manufacturing room. This we can turn into a proper recreation room. Basically keep the back bit of the vault for recreation. We've got the lab coming off the recreation room. Manufacturing immediately on the way in. Maybe just kind of replan things a little bit. Given that it's given us, again, a whole free room. There we go. We've all recovered. Everybody's fine. Except for the fact we've got no steel at all anymore. Except for the stuff we've got to smell down, of course. And Hellfire now looks like a mummy. But other than that, everything's all right. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Okay, and I stand by what I did. The orbital beam targeter, I think, saved us. I put in some sensible anti-fire procedures. So that doesn't happen again. We've got all the batteries split out. They're in a separate room to the power grid. And to be honest, we should just brick around this fucking thing entirely. Do we have any sort of deep drills? Scanners? Nothing? I guess the only thing we can do is the radio terminal in that case, right? I'll throw one down and tune it to steel. And then we'll just have to get out there, see what we can get. And we need to do that bloody fast. We're missing a whole lot of armor. And a lot of the weapons got burned too. So if we get another raid at this point, we're actually just done for. Tune to steel. And then let's get Dr. Man. I might say it's top priority. It has to be top priority. Oh my god, the Luciferium. We've got four left. They must have administered him one when he was in hospital. Okay. And it's already at 39%. When it ticks to zero, that's when he needs to take another one. Or ideally before then, of course. In that case, comms console is, is also very, very high tier. Get one of those down. And then an orbital trade beacon too. So with that, at least we can potentially buy him some more. I'm not hyper optimistic. Is there anything out there in the world we can loot or raid? What is that? Hostile. Oh my god, another medieval faction's popped up. But who are these, though? Wait, faction... Unwazni? Neutral, plus 100 opinion. Have we actually got an ally that's popped up here? Civil Outlander Union. Oh, shit. They believe in the liberal way. And of course, they're eldritch cultists. 
<laughs> Those goddamn Cthulhu worshipping liberals. Okay, well, I mean, hey, I'll take any ally we've got at this stage. No opportunities, no quests either. We got Lothar chase and that's it. I'll keep a very, very close eye on that, but I think we're just gonna have to gamble on the trade ships. Otherwise, Dr. Man might not be Dr. Man much longer. Can Bioscoptopods remove it? I don't believe they can, can they? They remove long-term injuries, but I don't believe addiction is cured by it, especially not Luciferium. What if we throw him in the Gene Taylor pod? Is it, or, or like a, like a crypto sleep suspender or something like that just before it ticks down to zero or maybe give it like a 10% buffer we just chuck him in here There's something called light power armor we might be able to make that as a replacement where do we where do we make that though oh here okay light power armor 70 plus still two components we can absolutely do that we don't have any leather so we can't make any of the higher end say for example i think it was called the ncr power engine patrol armor is the best thing we can technically craft but we don't have the technology to Cure leather, yeah. We'd like a tanning rack or a drying rack or something like that, and we don't have it. Maybe this radio terminal in hindsight, maybe that's just a graphical bug, like a UI bug, because you can't actually scan with it. Does make things a little bit harder, I won't lie. A combat supplier from the Revengers, our little faction. Hello. Worst case scenario, we can buy some replacement armor and weapons. You know what? Let's put that as weapon storage. Maybe there's some that they just can't haul over here. I think everything got burnt, though. There's quite a few. Oh, my God. The DPS on them is terrible. Recharger pistol. Where is that? Hello. Let's give that to Hellfire. Ranger combat rifle. Nine DPS, though. Yikes. Beggars can't be choosers. And, and, and I think we're slightly below beggars at this point. I don't need a friggin' charged shotgun. I just need a regular OK gun. Matter modulator. That sounds quite fun, doesn't it? 1,100. All right. Guess I can't afford that. We can sell some gold. We've got a staggering amount of gold that's probably destroying our colony well. Sort that out for some guns. I think that's a fair deal. Give me that. Give me the plasma caster. Give me the charge shotgun. Charge shotgun might actually get through their friggin' armor, too. Have you got any armor on the subject of that? Nothing of value. We don't really need helmets. His body armor we're lacking. No steel, no nothing. All right. That'll do, I suppose. We'll take a little bit of gold back in that case. Arcadius. A gift. Come on, steel. Oh, it's steel. It's also steel and uranium and plastic. In fact, do we have any other mineable steel on the map? Uh, 19. Okay, let's mine connected ore. Is there extra? Oh, shit. I mean, let's say we get, what, like 33 ore per block? And then there was 19 blocks. What's that? 627 in total. That'll be enough to get everybody decently rearmored. Let's go ahead and increase mining priority. I, I genuinely believe if they turn up again now, we are we're dead. I mean, some of our people have just got ponchos and shirts. Not to mention we lost a whole colonist in the form of intel. Someone who we sank five whole powers into. Ah, <sighs> You know what? Maybe I'm sleeping on these pristine ruins. That could be Luciferium. They're actually very, very close. Wealth, uh, wealth low. Almost no raiders. You know what? It's worth going to check. Who's not super useful right now? Well, you're crafting. We could send major break risk, I guess. How far is cooking? You're researching. You're researching. What's Fisto doing? Nothing. Going on a caravan. Congratulations. Let's send you. Let's send radiator and let's send break risk and bolt. He's got one in his pocket and two on the shelf. That's 15 days before Dr. Man is ex-Dr. Man. Please have something. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not overly optimistic, I won't lie. Wowee. Jade? Medicine? I had to say, I don't think we're going to find much Luciferium here. Whoa, but the ancient danger is intact. Run! <gasps> 11! That was close, I almost turned around and left. All we have to do is kill five raiders. Five raiders, and we bought Dr. Man another many days. 55 days. Jace, is there any cover? Uh, get behind those trees, fast. Run, 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 run. Fisto, uh, I mean, you've got the shortest range weapons. So it's not ideal putting you there, I won't lie. Get him. Get him, squad. Uh, maybe go up there then. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, you people suck. Fucking hell, look at this mess. Okay, Ripley's down. Go for, go for Annie. Annie, are you okay? I sure wish you weren't. They're shooting each other. <laughs> that makes my life a lot easier. Ooh, radiator. Was that one of our people? We're shooting our own people. Incredible. Two more, two more, two more. Uh, Fisto, let's see if you can rush him behind that. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, but we're gambling for Dr. Man's life. We've got better cover than they've got. That guy is just not letting up, though. Look at him go. Oh, what a shot from Fisto. You don't have to keep shooting that guy. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't matter that much. So you're all right, then. Shot in the leg. Shot in the torso. Sliced to pieces. Other than that, you're fine. I wonder if now I can just allow all and then piss off. 
<laughs> this guy's just firing always. I wonder if we can just allow all reform the caravan when he's gone. And then get out without having to collect everything manually. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's just try and get him patched up before reinforcements turn up. Oh, you know what? You're in the yellow. That's fine. That's fine. Show me what we've got then. Hang on. Allow all. No forbidden things found. Okay, that's good. And then reform caravan. Send them home. Okay. I want to see big treasure from this because we didn't check any of the inside of the buildings. Lots of leathers. Okay, I've got to take that because that allows us to build armor. We've got to be careful we don't take everything because obviously that would just encourage a lot more raids. Or we take everything we just blast off into space. The 11 Luciferin though is so fucking good. Uh, what about down here? Weapons, guns. I want to take the recharger pistol that we dropped. A little bit of gold, a little bit of silver. Okay. We could take the stove and, and, and dismantle it, but it's not worth it for the weight cost. Batteries as well? Shit. All right. Okay. A lot to consider. Ah, oh, finally something for the comment section. Oh, maybe we should crack open the crypto sleep caskets before we leave. If they're full of really powerful ancients, though, we're gonna die. And I'm not a massive fan of that. Um... Okay, Fisto, go get the recharger pistol because it's better than the crap you've got. Are you, you're not going to die, are you? Okay, it's got one more cut just to be patched up. And then other than that, you should be good. It's all just cracks and bruises. There you go. Right, let's head over. Carefully pop them open. We got a joy wire. Oh, Lord. I might regret this. Okay, uh, here's, here's the plan. Here's the plan. One of you come and hide behind this corner. Fisto, you pop it open. Worst case scenario, we just go and hide while they, while they exit the map. And... No. Hello. Okay. If we we could probably take him one at a time. Please be careful with that. Oh, this is so dangerous. Fucking hell. Okay, that's it. Get some distance. I hate everything about this. But there's a chance they could be carrying more Luciferium, right? So I I I, I can't I can't ignore it. And second one. Oh, the danger. Oh, that's just got insects. Oh, it's insects and people. Oh, but the, the insects aren't a problem. Okay, that's fine. Exotic goods trader. Is that an orbital trader? Fucking finally. Okay, Dr. Man, let's start queuing up a... Why are you guys sleeping down there? <laughs> Makes life so much harder. Let's start queuing up a trade with those guys. And then... Oh, what is that? It's a big red square. Get him. Oh, shit. He seems well armored. What is that? OFAT51 power armor. We might have bitten off more than we could chew with this guy. Fisto has the laser weapon. Can we get Fisto a little bit of distance? Probably not. Oh, God. Yeah, blast him. Blast him, Fisto. Get him Get him while he's go-juicing. Get him while he's go-juicing. Shit, watch out for those incendiaries. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Keep pathing. Keep pathing. Keep pathing. You can't stop us. You cannot stop us. Oh, shit. That might. Okay, he's down. Well, he's not down, though. He's just vomiting. If we could get his armor, that would be insane. Dr. Man. <laughs> now is really not the time. Masterwork hologram. Oh, that's cheap. I'll take one of those. What is red glare? Prototype rocket. Oh, from Fallout. Oh. It's just a big old big old rocket launcher, really. It's, it's probably single use, though, if I were to assume. Although, unique self-compressing pump action reloading mechanism. It's 11,000 silver. If we can afford it, I'll happily take that. Hellfire with that thing could be any more appropriate. Honestly, take the Persona Core. What the hell are we going to do with it? D take it so I can try and fund our survival a little bit more. Uh, take some of our components. Take some of our advanced components. we got way too many of those. Fucking hell. You got a little bit of plastic because at the rate we're going, we're never going to get to the point where we can even use that stuff. No Luciferium, though. That's all right because we're buying just an obscene weapon. Get him, team. Come on, Vlad. What the hell is this? Shouldn't have given him a chance to juice. Now we've... Made a horrible mistake. Three down. Two more to go. I, I feel like I really should stop, but there's a chance of Luciferium, and I can't risk that. Oh, nice. Well, that one was easy. What have you got on you? Uh, science goggles. What do those do? Research B global lemon fat out. I mean, it's not ideal, but we could take it. And then in our final crypto sleep casket, just trying to get a little bit more Luciferium. We've got nothing to worry about with that fire, I think. Uh, hello. Oh, it's a naked. What the fuck are you shooting at? Oh, it's just a scarab. Shoot that naked person instead. How about that? Oh, God, Fisto. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, my God. One lucky shot with that shotgun. It's all over. Take out giggles. Sick kid. Okay. Are we still safe? Let's check, there. check the bodies. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. See, there's still hostile enemies. Let's go search and destroy. Fisto is fine. That's just the pain that's caused them to fall over. <laughs> They're fine. They're just in absolute crippling agony. 
I'll be honest, it wasn't worth it cracking those open, but again, checking for the Luciferum. If we had found some, that would have been incredible. Uh, no, okay. Well, leave him behind then. And with that, we will probably never have to worry about power again. Old man, show me bionics. Oh, wait, what? We don't even have prosthetics, let alone bionics. <laughs> oh, but there's also recon armor. Damn it, we've got, we've, we have to take prosthetics. Come on, really? Can we get regular plain old prosthetics? No, but you can have advanced healing factors. I mean, I can't deny it would be super, super useful, wouldn't it? Especially the healing enhancer. My God, look at the rocket launcher. We were American all along. Well, that's really not helping things. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I'm thinking of the right Fallout weapon, this is the one from the DLC that fires gigantic missiles that glow red, right? Hence the name. Yeah, no, that'll do it. Oh, shit. Look at how fucking fast she can fire that. Hellfire, not because she's flameproof, but because she's named after the Hellfire missile. Ah, it's a plot twist, you see. You didn't realize all along it was something entirely different. Where did you get the marine armor? Oh, you stole it from Horndog, who's decided she would rather go naked. <laughs> well, I mean, she does have the lustral trait after all. Why not? To say that we've gone from the base being, what, like 400 degrees C and most of our ship being destroyed to, uh, to this? I think we bounced back pretty well. And the nice part about having this dining room as well, what, what's the quality of that right now? Uh, extremely impressive. So extremely impressive with the dining room is plus six to mood. At least I think so. 4,000 hours, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's plus six to mood. So that with the separate rec room as well, plus 12. That's quite nice. And when you're being shot at constantly and your people's brains are being exploded by psychic waves, all the mood we can get is fantastic. Come on, prosthetics. Ooh. Okay, compact weaponry is something. It is a type of prosthetic. Well, I mean, I'm looking for bionic specifically, but that's good. I really wanted to use the bioregeneration pods. I wanted to keep it as, I think I said this in a comment yesterday, a a as organic and natural as possible. Given that we're all about gene tailoring and making humans, I mean, naturally is probably the wrong word, but as powerful as possible with their own bodies. I wanted to avoid using bionics where possible, and I, and I still would like to stick to that. But right now, given that most people are missing most limbs, it's a necessary evil. But if we can get up to the point of biosculptors where we can sculpt people back to their regular, regular human bodies, that'd be quite nice. Are those down in the dining room? I suppose it's a little less exposed. Why not? We got a lot of empty space up here now. Weirdly, we've gone from not enough space to too much space. So I briefly talked about this yesterday, but with the biosculptor pods, we can make people tougher, which would be pretty fantastic. It takes 5.4 days, but would give them the tough trait. Same thing applies to voice cycle and beauty cycle. So they'll go from being ugly to neutral, neutral to beautiful. Artificial metabolism. Oh, God. We could use a combination of everything. Because, I mean, it's not like the gene pod is, um, again, natural, given that we're using nanites. We could use a combination of bionics that are subtle. And the, the the kind of biogenics, the gene pod and the biosculptors. At this point, I think we need to do whatever it takes to defeat the order. I think putting more limitations on us at this point is only going to maybe get us horribly killed. I, I mean, this is probably the hardest they've ever hit. It's sure they've killed our people before. But the fact that our base... Okay, it was me that burned the base down. That insurance claim isn't going to stand up. But the fact that I had to sacrifice the base to defeat them, which again, I think was the only way to actually defeat them was necessary. Oh, we could get the super pod from SDRS. SRTS. S S R T. It's not quite the incredible bolt though, is it? So you know what? Give me the metabolism. I think bionics should be allowed as long as they don't overshadow the powers. So replacement bionic arms and legs are all good, but maybe things like the the combat bionics. Those overshadow what Dr. Man has worked so hard to get. Picked up a good amount of steel from that pristine room we went to, so we might as well go ahead and make a... What, let me let me write a list here of what we're missing in hindsight. So, in total, we need three noses, three arms, three lungs, two eyes, a heart, an ear, a jaw, and a leg. It's a wonder we haven't been wiped out soon, to be completely honest. Now, one of those arms is heavily scarred, so it's causing a lot of pain, but is still otherwise functional, better than a prosthetic arm. So, we'll only make two of these. Then... We need a leg. And we can make ear implants, which I'm kind of surprised by. And we can make a heart. So the heart is for Hellfire, who has an artery blockage, depending on what the efficiency of that is. It's just minus 5%, so it's not worth the prosthetic heart. Uh, light receptor, is it called? Or is that one of the many, many mods? 
I we've got no eye implants, unfortunately. And the fun one is a lung. Yeah, see, that's advanced. But we can make four of the organs we need. You know, I'd love to get everybody a healing enhancer as well. What I've noticed about Perry this time, and I can't say I've ever noticed about it before, we're getting a raid, and then immediately afterwards, we're getting hit by another raid. They're almost kind of back-to-back -back in that regards. That's why I'm thinking a healing enhancer, so that we can quickly get back on our feet after combat would be ideal. I will queue up eight of those. She won't be that bad. 32 advanced components and however much plastic. I'm not going to work that out. We don't have enough advanced components for that, but I believe somebody already has a healing enhancer, right? Uh, is it something we grabbed? Yeah, there you go. So Huntsman already has one. I will admit, I don't want to spend all of it on that. So we'll just make five for now. The robotic rigs would also be incredible. Minus 25% aim time. If we give us health over that fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> uh... Sure. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do it like like that. What was the command tower? What do we need for that? Let's make another one of those for Dr. Man as well. If we make a rig for Hackerman, a rig for Hellfire, and a rig for Huntsman, then the command tower Huntsman's got we give to someone else, and then we give one to Dr. Man. Shit, we, we, we might be back in the game. As long as we can get this done before the next raid turns up. We only got one good crafter, though. Uh, and we do have quality bionics, too, so that the better crafter would make the better bionics. Um, well, that makes things a bit more complicated. As long as crafting for Huntsman is the top priority, I don't think we've got a problem. Let's just make sure everything else is dropped down. I don't think any of this is ever going to be relevant, but, you know, just in case. There's a person out there called Crocodile Slayer. I might genuinely try and tame him because that's already a superhero name. Iron Stomach Misogynist Coward Kind Wimp. You're all right. You can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of the worst traits I've ever heard. Dr. Man has just finished cracking out the other research as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I am praying that the incredible, the genius Dr. Man can give us one gift today on one of the most... We, we've had so many unlucky episodes in a row now. Yesterday we lost people. Today we've lost people. Not only that, we almost lost the base. Just give me prosthetics. <gasps> Wait, is that, is that actually it though? Uh, bionic replacements leads to bionic modules. Wait, shit, is that even the right research? Man, I was so excited there for a second, but I don't think that's even it, is it? Bionic mod, uh, bionic replacements. Okay. My bionic ear. I, I think that's it. What the hell is bionic modules then? Bionic modules are, ah, oh, from medical system too. That's what you install into the limbs to get certain bonuses. Cool. Okay, that's it then. Old man. You've done it. I don't know why I'm calling old man. I don't know how old he is. He's 35. Past the age of 30. I mean, you, you're basically ready to retire. I will take that. I will take that as the victory we needed today. That is a, a, a silver lining to this, this psychic cloud that's been hanging over us. Between that, the optimized base, the better weapons that we, of course, looted. And finally, prosthetics. After all this time, we can rebuild everybody. At this point, it's not even worth building these arms, is it? Just get rid of it. I think first things first, an arm for Huntsman so that Huntsman can make the other arms quicker. Definitely wouldn't hurt. We need to get the hospital. Oh, shit. Well, they, they carried on with it. My God, we've actually got a semi-competent hospital as well. This is it. This is the start of the big comeback. For so long now, we've been using half people, quarter people, given that some of them are missing more than just two limbs. I mean, Huntsman being prime example, I'm not even sure how you're still standing. With this, we can get back on our feet and bury this fucking person. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Biosculptor Pods, which are capable of bioregeneration. Those only restore small body parts like fingers or toes, but that's still ideal. It means that we don't have to craft the individual noses or whatever, or, or wait for bionic noses, the gastroanalyzers. And if we do get another high-tier super soldier like Intel, rest in peace, or original Fister, rest in peace, we just throw him in tough cycle after tough cycle. And Huntsman asks Dr. Man, time to activate beast mode. Are you ready? And the thing is, we're all ready. We can finally activate beast mode. And all it took was one freaking research at long last. Semi-random research giveth. Semi-random research taketh away. But I do love semi-random research. This is it. That, that was all it was. A single research between us and greatness. Now there's no excuse. If we get bulldozed again, maybe I just need to accept I'm bad. But thank you in the meantime to the patrons who make me feel slightly less bad about that. Thank you to Waffles and Whiskey, Essidus, Galaxy Wolf, Chase, Apple Cat, Fairy Wiz, Alice, to the rescue, Barnikins, Milk, Guardian Easter, Emily, Passy, 965, Dexy, Nigma, Juicy Jason, Chaotic Entertainment, and Neo Zela for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. 
Thank you all for your support over there. And finally, a thank you to Dion, Ractanian, Flom, J1293, Yannick, Edzuki, Plateon, Astros the Great, Asero, Irish Batman, Betamus Max, Dunamite, Cybermonkey, Matthew, and Mellow as well.